Hi, my name is Shakira and welcome to my channel, My Fitness Euphoria. And since this is my first video, I want to tell you guys about who I am, or just a little bit about me, and what I would like this channel to be about. Starting with me, I am 22 years old, and I am from Canada. For the last three years, I have been working at an insurance office, and at this company for the last few months, I have been working as a receptionist. Before that, I went to school for to complete my diploma in fitness and health promotion in Kingston at St. Lawrence College and I had an amazing time at that with that program and at that school just sorry the teachers were great my counselors were great my friends were great the people I've met outside of school were great the whole entire experience everything was great really and you know how much more times can I say great right okay but yes, everything was amazing and I could not have been more happy with my decision to go to school in Kingston as it helped shape to me, shaped to me to be the person who I am today and that's all I could ever ask for. I think I'm a great person and I think that experience, you know, helped me to be a great person. So yeah, there's that, and if you haven't been to Kingston, what are you waiting for? Kingston is so amazing, like, just, <laughs> I don't know, it's such a beautiful place, it's just the people, most people, that's, yeah, most people are great, and yeah, there's everything, you should go there, if you haven't gone. Uh, no, what do I want this channel to be about? Uh, well, I have four things in mind right now. That's a lot, but that's four things. And one being fitness and about my fitness and health journey, two, my career, three, dance, and four, travel. Yes, four things. And, you know, some people might say, why don't you make this channel about your life? And yes, as much as this channel is about my life, I would like to focus on those four things and really mainly fitness and health, my fitness and health journey. Okay, so starting with the first one, my journey. I would like to, like for the last three years, I have been working at my company, like I stated, and in those three years, since I've been back from college, I gained 60 pounds, 60 plus pounds. So really, that's 20 plus pounds every single year. How's that even possible? It's possible for me, apparently. You know, I sit at my desk all day, and really even more so because I've been sitting at my receptionist desk for the last few months. All I do is sit, and I eat, and I work, and you know, repeat every single day for eight hours. Well, yeah, pretty much for eight hours, um, or less, really, if you include lunch and everything, but that's about eight hours and then there's four hours on the bus going to work getting home and that's another hassle that you know you're just sitting all day then you get home and then you eat and then what do you do you sit down again and then you go into your bed that's about it I have a dog so I have to walk her there's some movement there but there's really not that much so right now I'm trying to focus on getting myself to be a healthier person and you know, to do the best for me and just put myself into a better place in life, you know, not only just getting healthier, like for my body, but just making myself happy, feeling lighter, doing better, just, you know, doing what makes me happy. And I was happy 60 pounds earlier, so why don't I go back to that? And that's the plan. And you guys will be here listening to my journey my journey as I do that. So number two, my career. I went to school for fitness and health promotion. So that's what I want my career to be in. That's what that's what I chose in high school and that's that's just what I want to do. And I still want to do it. 
So now, like I said, in like for the first school, I'm trying to reverse every single thing I did working at my company, sitting down and eating. I have to do better for myself, you know. If I I can't expect to want to help people if I can't help myself, and I'm the first person that I will be helping, obviously, you know. And when the time comes for me to be helping people, I could be like, hey, I was there, you know. I had that struggle. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, you know, just getting myself to be a healthier person and getting my certificates at the same time. So when the time comes, I can just start working. Also, um, you know, in that industry, to be honest, as much as I'm going to want to get experience in working at gyms and doing other things, like maybe intern interning at a company, etc., at the end of the day, I want to work for myself. I've always been that kind of person and that's just what I want to do. So let's see where it takes me. Um, three, dance. Dance, dance, dance. I am a dancer. I am a pole dancer. I'm a performer and I love it. I've been dancing for three years uh, since I came out of college and I just had, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know why I'm talking like I have an accent. Anyways, um, I've been dancing for the last three years and it has just been such an incredible experience for me. You know, the people I've met and the experience I've had as a result of just dancing, everything has been so, hmm, I don't know the words. I, I just can't be even, I can't, like I'm just so grateful for this experience and for finding dance. I love that I'm able to express myself dancing and I love that that's where I can go when I need to release the anger or where I just need to just find something where I'm not going to be bored. It's just I'm never bored, you know, whether I'm doing some exotic dancing or whether I'm doing some strength training, you know, I just love it. It's just if you haven't tried it, you should do it. Yeah, I'm recommending it. It's really not just about, you know, becoming a stripper. It's not being a stripper. If you don't want to be a stripper, then you don't be a stripper. But, you know, other than that, it's really about moving your body and just really getting to know who you are. So even, like, you know, like I said, I'm a performer. I dance at showcases, but I also compete. And I want to continue to compete. And through my health and fitness journey, see, everything goes back to the health and fitness. Through that journey, I want to become better. I want to start training better. I want to have a more consistent training schedule. And I want to have a better eating plan. You know, I just want to get stronger do better and hopefully one day win a competition you know i am a competitive person so yeah third place is cool um or no place is not cool but yeah i'm aiming for first and you know i just want to have better experiences um with dance and i want to be able to experience different dance styles not just um not just full dance but like you know i want to try contemporary or hip-hop or just anything i love to dance i've always loved to dance as a child so there's that and last but not least to travel travel is so important to me i cannot tell you how important it is to me um whether it's um you know sorry one wait a second i'm talking too fast my mind is moving so quick right now um when i finished high school right before i was finishing and applying for colleges I was just like, what do I apply for? Do I apply for fitness and health or do I apply for travel and tourism? I did apply for both in the end and I got into both programs at two different schools and I decided to go with the fitness and health because that's where my passion was leaning towards and you know, I still have a passion for travel and I still want to do something with travel like just being in a different country ex talking to different people meeting new people um experiencing people's other people's cultures um just that is incorrect like i don't even know that is just mind-blowing to me i just love the thought of it i love the thought of being in a new place and just i love the thought of exploring and just, i don't know it's amazing right it's amazing so that's also what my focus is on you know traveling finding new destinations whether it's like you know 
all the way in Europe or in Africa or just in your own backyard. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to explore and try new things and travel the world. And you know, back to my career, back to health and fitness, I would like to tie both health and fitness and travel together, you know. Uh, once I get my career rolling, I would hope that I can start traveling and utilizing my career at the same time to have the ultimate dream job. Dream, yeah, the ultimate dream, the ultimate dream job. That is the plan. My ultimate plan with this channel is for you guys to come along with me on my journey, but the main goal is for me to travel and work in the industry I plan to do as well as including some dancing at the same time so yeah that that's me that is me um yeah I think I'm done I don't think I have anything else to say I don't even know if this video is gonna get edited because my computer is a poo but oh well you guys will get to know me in this first video okay so my before my video wanted to be rude and cut off um yeah like i was saying you guys will get to know me in this first video and i will talk to you soon i'm hoping to make a video next week and i don't know what it will be about um but yeah i hope to see you guys soon and it was nice talking to you and thank you for watching and have a great night bye bye For the finer things And you know that it's only getting worse Only getting worse I ain't got no diamond rings But you know that I'm gonna make it work